Uh, I'm Tim Barnes, uh, Ag Educator, OSU Extension, Marion County, Ohio. Today we're going to show a short video about applying liquid swine manure to uh, a growing no-till corn crop with uh, a rye cover crop. We're working with Baker Farms of Ashley, Ohio. Uh, the application field was four miles away from the barn, so that entailed using a frack tank to act as a reservoir to feed the umbilical application unit. Also, this required six semis to make the round trip and keep the flow going, and that ended up in roughly being a cost of $100 an acre. We're using a 55-foot splice bar, applying 6,500 gallons of manure per acre. This corn was planted on May 15th. The rye was terminated three days later on May 18th. These application videos being taken on May 27th and a uh, 60 acre field was applied with 400,000 gallons uh, of manure and that application cost come out roughly $65 an acre. Uh, the hose then seemed to be supported extremely well by the no-till uh, ground and also the rye. Uh, very little disturbance as, uh, as the rye popped back up after it moved over the crop. Uh, always a lot of questions and concerns about how much damage uh, the tractor tires do to the, the crop. This is a video following the track of the tractor. And uh, in our past experience, when we check this uh, out, it pretty much reduces uh, the starting population about 10,000 plants per acre. Uh, it did rain uh, one inch overnight uh, when this video, second video was taken the following day. Uh, and so that's not really manure ponding, that's uh, actually water. But again, uh, interesting, we'll track it through the year. I want to fact, uh, thank Baker Farms, uh, Raw Handling, and also Berkey Trucking.